The last few years have been rough for HTC. The One M9 flopped hard in 2015, and they're desperate for a winner. They may have one with the HTC 10. After using the HTC 10 for nearly a month, I can say this is one of the most complete Android devices to come across my desk in a while. Some call it boring because it lacks flashy features, but this is one case where boring is a good thing. I'll get back to that in a minute. The most notable design feature of the 10 is the massive chamfered edge on the back. It's pretty common to see chamfered edges on a phone, but this takes it to a new level. The chamfer gives the 10 the look of a freshly machined piece of metal. It looks great and feels great in the hand. One notable feature missing from the HTC 10 is the dual front-facing speakers, promoted heavily in the past as boom sound. Instead, HTC is using a tweeter in the earpiece and a woofer in the bottom speaker. The sound is not as good as front speakers, but is still a huge improvement over most phones. On the front is a 5.2 inch Quad HD LCD display. It's very bright and crisp. If you're coming from a Samsung phone, it will look a lot different. Colors are more accurate and blacks aren't as deep. You can tweak the colors to your liking with HEC's built-in tool. Performance on the HTC 10 is just as good as every other device with the Snapdragon 820 and 4GB of RAM. HTC has done some tweaking to the animations to make the phone feel even faster. Battery life is good, but not great. I can make it about 15 hours before plugging in. For me, that puts the 10 above the Galaxy S7 and G5, but not as good as the S7 Edge. HTC has struggled with cameras in their last few flagship phones. Thankfully, the HTC 10 makes huge improvements. This is a camera that can compete with the Galaxy S7 and LG G5, but it's not quite good enough to win. Photos come out looking a hair overexposed, but generally good. The front-facing camera has optical image stabilization, which should make selfie lovers happy. HTC did what they needed to do with the cameras here, which is basically make something that doesn't suck. Now let's talk about software, because that's where the HTC 10 really shines. HTC has decided to basically let Google do their thing here. Google Apps have replaced nearly all of HTC's apps. There's only one calendar, one browser, one gallery, and one music app. Areas like the notification shade and recent apps menu look untouched. HTC did just enough to show that you're using an HTC device, but they didn't compromise the Android experience. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I think this is the best Android phone available right now, even if it lacks flashiness. Smartphones have fallen into the trap of thinking that more is always better. The HTC 10 doesn't hide behind any gimmicks. It's a refreshingly simple phone that does everything really well. The camera could be a little better, and HTC should have priced it more competitively, but the full package far outweighs those little cons. While everyone else is trying to be bold, HTC went with boring and rock solid, and there's nothing bolder than that. For our full written review, visit fandroid.com.